Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. And oh my goodness, guys, so much is going on in my kingdom right now with the defeat of Shere Khan, the Tower Challenge Chapter 2 coming to an end, and of course, Chapter 3 is about to start. If you guys have missed the spoilers video for what characters you guys need, make sure to check that out. It's super duper important for the third and final chapter especially. All right, Barbosa. Aha, the rumors told me true. There be my ship safe at harbor in Castillo del Moro, a part I know well. I never did manage to sack that place properly. Not for a lack of trying, of course. Well, first time for everything I wager with stealth on my side, and Turner nowhere in sight, that ship's as good as mine. Though I have a funniest feeling I'm being watched. Quest complete, keep a weather eye open. Mm-hmm, -hmm. men of deceit, they never change. <laughs> Calypso! I love it! Oh my goodness, she is such an awesome character in my kingdom and I wish I had brought her in a couple of weeks ago because she is so much fun and we have more dialogue coming. Oh, but it's from Elizabeth and Will. We haven't had dialogue from these two in like ages. Will, I know where Jack's ship is. Calypso told me the heading. She did. That's wonderful, Elizabeth. But we must hurry, or Barbosa may beat us to it. Full sail! Kingdom quest! Build Pirates of the Caribbean! And oh my gosh, what? 500,000 magic? I hope that's a joke. I hope this is a mistake. I hope it's, they just added like a few too many zeros onto this, because this is crazy. 12 hours to construct, and oh my gosh. Okay, I don't care about the 12 hours to build it, but 500,000 magic, guys? If I do that, I'll be under a million. And we all know I like to be over a million just in case they unlock that four million land, which is eventually going to come to us in some update at some time. But I just don't want to be below a million if I can help it. But, oh my gosh, 500,000? What am I gonna do? Do you guys think I should do it or just wait a little bit longer? Because I know that I'm gonna be unlocking the Peter Pan storyline and Shere Khan, so that'll be finishing up the Jungle Book. And I know that they're going to be pretty expensive. I mean, they have to be after 500,000 for, you know, that one attraction. That's just crazy. Eventually, at some point, it's gonna be like a million magic for an attraction or something silly like that. And then I'm just gonna, I don't know what'll happen. I'll probably just pass out when that happens. So hopefully never, ever, ever. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways guys, um, I wanted to talk to you about the live stream that I am going to be doing tomorrow, which is Sunday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's actually pretty cool this time that we are getting to do a live stream on the weekend, and we are unlocking the third and final chapter in Tower Challenge number five, which means we can collect the very last token for LeFou, which will then be the newest character to the kingdom. I don't think I'll have enough currency to have him like going for tomorrow's stream, because I think if I calculate it correctly, because I know the ears hats are 650, and I still have to complete like buying his bow ties and stuff, which I should be able to do by tomorrow, but still, it's a little bit crazy that all that is sort of going on. And Mowgli is, oh my gosh, Mowgli to get to a level 10, guys, Make sure you have over 100,000 because that's crazy. That is insane. So 500 for Pirates of the Caribbean and 100,000 for Mowgli. About Baloo. 60,000 almost for Baloo. Okay. Oh, and Lady Tremaine is still leveling up, so we can't do him yet. I forgot. I sent her out for a whole day. Ridiculous timing, but that's fine. No big deal. It means I can save up all my magic because it's going to go super duper fast. My goodness. Okay, you could have told me that was a surprise party for Boo before I started opening presents that weren't mine. You mean the first plastic pink unicorn you opened wasn't enough of a clue? 
Very funny, Sully. I happen to like pink unicorns. Good to know. I'll be sure to get you one for your next birthday. Quest complete. Surprise for Boo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I love doing the impressions for Boo. She is just so adorable. I'm so glad I got her into the kingdom because, like, honestly, even though she doesn't do, like, say that much. I shouldn't say do that much. She does lots of quests. But she doesn't say that much, but she is just the cutest thing ever. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Anyways, guys, I still have a few more bundles to get. I've got the flower bundle, the flash bundle, and the Merryweather bundle. And I know that when I unlock Peter Pan, I'll have Captain Hook, too. Mike, boo, how did you forget it? Have you seen Sully? He borrowed my favorite pen, and I still hasn't returned it. Kitty. Yes, Kitty. Help me look for him, and I'll let you draw on the walls. Find Kitty, part one. Send Boo to search for Kitty. <laughs> I love that Boo calls Sully Kitty. That is just super cute. And I wish I had had Boo now soup like a lot earlier because I think I would have enjoyed the Monsters, Inc. storyline way back when I started a lot, lot, lot more than I, like, yeah, you have ever enjoyed it. Oh man, this is one swinging party, kid, and it's all thanks to you. And you and Bagheera too, Baloo. Having friends like you is one of the best things about being in the jungle. Quest complete, the wildest party around. I wonder what new adventures we'll get into tomorrow. Oh my goodness, I don't know, but it's gonna be crazy. And the game, oh my goodness, just did something. <gasps> Yay, Merlin. Ah, full moon, high in the sky. There's always a little more magic than usual at such times. And given the kingdom's customary state, that is saying something. Yes, I think tonight will be a night for dreamers, adventurers, and storytellers, or perhaps all three at once. Welcome a darling! Welcome Wendy Darling! So this is a kingdom quest, guys, so you have to do this if you want to continue your main storyline. And Wendy! Oh my gosh, and her voice actually is played by the same person who does Alice from Alice in Wonderland, so this might be good for me. Okay, so what do we need for her? We need pixie dust. So lots of people can get uh, pixie dust. We've got the needle and thread. Only a few characters can get that, including Toy Alien, oh my gosh, Tinkerbell and Mowgli. Tinkerbell's busy though with the Tower Challenge right now. So yeah, then the Peter Pan float, so that's something we have to consider. Wendy's Ears Hat, uh, okay, so only Baloo and Bagheera, again the float, and Captain Hook. Oh no, another character I'm gonna need to buy, and I'm gonna need to buy him earlier this time. There's absolutely no way that I can avoid it. But I think I'll wait probably maybe until like I uh, bring in the first Peter Pan character so all the dialogue can sort of start together. So Captain Hook is 550 gems. There's supposed to be a bundle that comes with it too. I believe that's supposed to come with his ship. But uh, the Jolly Roger, by the way. But uh, I don't see it. It hasn't come up yet. So we'll have to wait. And then we've also got to unlock Michael in this, I guess, collection now. John, and so that's going to be interesting. Anybody else? Uh, I forget. Oh, and Peter, of course. Peter Pan, we obviously need Peter. So we're going to have to wait a little bit, though, before we can unlock those three characters. Now, I do believe Michael is the last one in that collection to unlock, if I remember correctly. It's been a while, but uh, Tinkerbell is at a level 10 already, which hopefully that'll be helpful uh, because with her, uh, we got her like, what, the first week or whatever you play the game as like a calendar reward. So she is super duper useful like early on in the game and she will be useful probably once again, uh, once, you know, we get going with things a little bit after the tower challenge. Now, I know we're going to be getting another limited time event after that, so there's not going to be that much time to sort of, I guess, focus on Wendy, but we'll try and start now. We'll just sort of have to see. I know Toy Alien is close to being maxed out, so I might want to do that first before 
um, I start collecting. Because I know we need Buzz and Toy Alien to work together in order to get Toy Alien's ears hats. So pretty much, guys, with that is that I want to finish Toy Alien's like character tokens. And then I can move on because I think I only need a few left. So once I've sort of finished that, well, then I think I'll start using Toy Alien to collect for Wendy Darling. So the Peter Pan Parade Float, guys, is available for 50 gems. I believe this is currently the only way that you can actually get the float. I wish the float came in the bundle. I think that would be really awesome. You know, if you could buy the float for like, I don't know, $2.99 or something like that. And then you'd maybe get like 25 gems or something like a smaller bundle for people that don't want to spend like $13.99, but still want to sort of have a little bit of help with the Peter Pan collection and stuff. Because I know Captain Hook would be useful to bring in now because like he could help collect the character tokens and stuff but if we could have like a bundle so that we wouldn't have to use our gems for example on the peter pan like float i think that would be maybe a nice sort of combination maybe something that disney magic kingdoms can think about because like i still don't have the monsters ink and i don't have the dumbo one i know dumbo i don't need right now I, but you can get the dumbo one actually in gold chess so maybe they could just move uh the parade floats into gold chests like all the main storyline ones they could do that would be really cool actually let me know what you guys think in the comments below about that if disney magic kingdoms was to either make parade floats into like smaller bundles that you could use real money for or putting them in gold chests like let me know what you think about that as a future possibility for an update for disney magic kingdoms i will not purchase the peter pan float right away but if you guys think it is useful and you think it would be really helpful for my main storyline especially if i'm gonna wait like maybe a week or whatever to bring in captain hook uh again let me know in the comments below so make sure to stay tuned for my next video where we will be continuing the tower challenge and obviously pushing along my main storyline i feel like i'm being a little ambitious this tower challenge doing all of this but i really want to sort of push things along <laughs> I don't know why, but I really want to sort of get now to like Dumbo. It's just because Dumbo's out and I kind of want to be immersed in that. I know I probably won't for quite some time, but hey, I got a goal. I've got a new goal, guys. All right, so that is everything I'm going to be doing for this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that little bell for post notifications if you are new. And as always, make sure to give this video a big Mickey thumbs up to show your support for the channel. So thanks, guys, for watching, and we will see you for the next one.